Hi there. Let us look at the trade-off between risk and return in investments. What kind of investments do you prefer? Will you be comfortable with investments that have the potential to give you high returns but whose value swings constantly and have a high risk of loss? Or those that are less volatile and offer steady but lower returns? The risk of default or the value falling is lesser. All investments, be it stocks, mutual funds or bonds, involve some element of risk. Risk can be defined as the degree of uncertainty of getting returns as per investor expectations. Usually, the higher the potential of return of an investment, the higher the risk. And if you want lower risk, you should be willing to accept lower returns. But mind you, there is no guarantee that you will get higher returns if you invest in high risk investments. Here is the typical correlation between risk and return of various investments. There is lower risk in a government bond investment as compared to investing in shares of a company. Venture capital investments have an even higher risk, but the potential of returns is very high. As an investor, you obviously cannot eliminate the portfolio risk, but you can take steps to manage it or mitigate it. Use the asset allocation strategy to divide your portfolio across various asset classes to reduce risk and maximize returns. Here are some sample asset allocations. This is a conservative portfolio where the portion of debt investments is more than the equity investments. And this is an aggressive portfolio aimed at earning higher returns but also higher risks. The asset allocation strategy depends on the type of investor you are, financial capability, financial goals, your investment time frame, and market conditions. Thank you.